Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you this really cool present that I got from my dear sweetheart, Joseph Coco. It is a folded brass pin, and these are handmade by the UK cartoonist, Dan Barry. You can check out his Twitter at Things by Dan, and you can also check out his art at um, thingsbydan.co.uk. And um, so I've never actually used a folded pin before. I've seen tutorials online for making your own folded pins out of Coke cans and such, and I have had friends who've had excellent results with that. But you know, it was the combination of a fellow cartoonist who not only makes these, but uses these, was just irresistible for me. And I, I excitedly begged Joseph to please, please get me one for Christmas. So I'm just wiping off any possible hand residue because I have handled a little bit with an alcohol wipe. And I'm gonna go ahead and just grab some Sumi ink and I am drawing on Canson Montval watercolor paper. And this is a fairly sturdy watercolor paper. And get this open. So my folded brass pin arrived in a padded plastic envelope in, inside this P, okay. Arrived in this PVC pipe, which is about the same size as the pin. This was then wrapped in bubble wrap and that was in a bubble wrap mailer. So it arrived quite safely. And I was super excited when I got it. I was like, is this a pin? And he was like, is this a pin? Like teasing, like, oh. And I was like, but it feels like a pin. Ooh, okay. So this is definitely something that is gonna take some getting used to on my part. And you do need to dip it. So it is a type of dip pin, but it should have a fairly large reservoir to hold your ink. So you get, it's really pretty expressive. You get wide strokes like that. And then you can also pull sharp strokes and then you can get line variation. So in a way like the Fude de Manon is a Fude uh, fountain pen. This is sort of like a Fude dip pen. So I'm gonna quickly sketch out something that's on my drafting table, which happens to be a Prismacolor marker. And this has a really interesting um, stroke to it. I bet this would be great for calligraphy. And it feels really sturdy and lovely. Um, it is brass pipe that Dan turns himself or, or um, folds himself. So I have to admit, I am a huge sucker for comic artists who make their own tools and draw with their own tools. Um, I would really love to order some reed pins and quill pins. and play around with those. But this is cool and I'm gonna have to do some um, some studies, I think, with this. I, I really enjoy trying out, if not for my own comics, I enjoy trying out pins and tools that sort of offer a different type of line. And uh, I know you don't always see a lot of that on this channel but if you head on over to my Instagram, which is natosoup, instagram.com slash natosoup, you can see a lot of my field tests over there. But this has a really neat gestural line. A little bit grungy in a good way. Like it's very, has a very organic sort of look to it. I find that I'm enjoying drawing with the side a little bit more then with the sharp, the fine point. Almost could get through the whole alphabet with one dip, which is pretty impressive as well. So that is the folded brass dip pin uh, made by Dan Barry, B-E-R-R-Y. 
at Things by Dan on Twitter. You guys can find a link to where you can get your own if you so desire um, in the description below. This was by no means a paid endorsement. I don't even think this dude knows I exist. <laughs> and this was a Christmas present. But it's cool and he makes these and he's a comics person. And I am all about supporting fellow comic people, especially fellow comic people who love their tools as much as I love mine. So hopefully if this looked cool to you, if this looked interesting to you, why don't you go check it out and maybe get one of your own. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little look. Um, hopefully I'll have some other videos with this cool ruling, I'm sorry, cool folded pen later on. And who knows, maybe I'll get brave and make a coat can folded nib as well at some point. So I will see you guys later. Bye.